Okay, here we are at our final uh, zero over zero limit. Remember, we're studying zero over zero limits because derivatives are zero over zero limits, and we need to be proficient with finding these type of limits. So let's first ensure that this is a zero over limit. Notice that if we plug in h equals zero, we get one over zero times a third minus a third times zero, so it is a zero over zero limit in that sense. So what are we going to do? We're going to use uh, the approaches that we have used before. The first of those approaches is to get a common denominator in this uh, bracketed expression. So let's set it up with that in the next uh, line with uh, the common denominator being the product of 3 times the square root of 9 plus h. Okay, so we have the common denominator written in and we're going to see that this one needs to turn into a 3 and this one needs to turn into a square root of 9 plus h. So we've changed our limit to this problem and <clears throat> what are we going to do at this point? We are going to use the conjugate approach with this nu numerator multiplying it by its conjugate. So let's set it up that way. Okay, so we have multiplied the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator, multiplying it by 1. Notice that when we multiply the two factors in the numerator together, we get 3, uh, excuse me, we get 9 minus 9 plus h in parentheses. And our denominator is a little complex at this point. It is h times 3 times square root of 9 plus h times the factor 3 plus the square root of 9 plus h. Alright, so remember what we have been trying to do in all these problems is to get that zero factor out of the denominator. That zero factor is that h in the denominator. Have we been able to remove it? Yes, we have, because if we look at the numerator here, we see that it is equal to minus h, and that allows us to cancel the h in the denominator with the minus h in the numerator and get only minus 1 in the numerator. So let's pick it up on the next slide with what we have left. All right, so can you see that it is a case 1 limit because we are able to plug in uh, h equals 0 and that does no uh, that no longer results in a 0 in the denominator so we're going to plug uh, h equals 0 in noticing that this be, uh, this square root becomes 3 and we have the same square root over here so it's also 3 so we have minus 1 over 3 times 3 multiplied by 3 plus 3 or minus 1 over 9 times 6 minus 1 over 54. So we've done our most complex case of a 0 over 0 limit and this one combined several of the algebraic techniques that we learned before. So let's summarize all the algebraic techniques that we've learned in doing uh, 0 over 0 limits. So the techniques that we encountered in these four examples were factor and cancel to remove the 0 over 0, get a common denominator and complex fractions to remove the 0 over 0, multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate of either the numerator or the denominator, and in the third case what we do is what we did is combine uh, these two steps uh, in sequence. So there we have it with uh, four different approaches to resolving the 0 over 0 limits.